hey guys welcome back again to my channel welcome back to booms sports today i'm going to be taking you guys through the making of fisherman soup i mean our obonge reverse fisherman soup this is my mom just peeling the oziza that she's going to use to make the fisherman soup remember in our previous video when she went to makoko market i told you guys that she was going to make fisherman soup so here is our barracuda fish well seasoned with yellow pepper in this place she is just turning in the ofo and mixing it together this is original ofo that she brought all the way from port Harcourt. if you watched my video where we're unboxing things my mom brought from port Harcourt when she came initially this was part of it correct ofo this is actually what we use to make our fisherman soup in river state or you can actually use coco yam to thicken it but well or four always tastes better so at this point she's just putting in red oil and she will give it a good stir yes she will give it a good stir <laughs> so this is her just adding hot water and mixing everything together this is actually the water that she's actually going to use to make the soup so yeah you can decide to put the quantity of water that you need depending on how much soup you want to make but yeah so this is enough and then she will take it to the fire and just keep stirring it and stirring it this is grandmaster of making native soup yeah she's seasoning the prawn and this is a new twist that i actually learned when i usually make my own soup i just put in the prawns and the seafood fresh like that but i can see my mom seasoning the prawns the fish and just all of it and just keeping it this is yellow pepper that she's putting inside and just giving it a good stir and seasoning it you guys at the point when this soup was ready and we ate this prawns the prawns had flavor like the flavor was just bursting in our mouth and this is actually the result of just seasoning it before you put it inside the soup so she's doing this and she will just keep it aside and allow the flavors to just enter inside so well so yeah i hope you are learning as well because i'm learning as well too <laughs> so ever since my mom has been at home we have been using our mortar and pisu hey a whole lot even with pounding of pepper and crayfish now she has said to me that when you blend your crayfish and you want to use it for soup it turns into powder i mean it doesn't give you that taste that crayfish or bonge taste but when you pound it it turns into handmade crayfish and it gives you all the flavors and tastes that a crayfish is supposed to give in soup so she prefers to pound her crayfish than to blend it as well so you guys i said this is grandma style this is her just washing the oziza that she was peeling in the beginning as you could see she's done peeling the oziza this is the quantity she's going to use for the soup so she's just washing it right now please always wash your vegetables that you are going to use to cook thoroughly this is my mom giving it like the third wash and yeah just keep washing it thoroughly to remove sand and other bacteria because you know you buy it from the roadside so yeah this is our ungolo we've had ungolo in the house so this is not part of the thing she bought in makoko market and this is the isam we are going to be using for the soup so yeah this is the snail the quantity of snail we are going to be using for the soup as well this is what we call ishio koroko mixed with other okoroko parts but you will commonly know it as stock fish so this is my mom soaking it in hot water first here you have your offer and palm oil 
filled with hot water that has been boiling on fire can you see how thick it has turned into oh yes and then mom is just here peeling the ozuza that she's going to put inside the soup you guys the ozuza gives your soup so much taste like i love this leaf so much i use it to make a goosey or craw just name it i love it i love the flavor it always gives to my soup so yeah mom is cutting the ozuza and when you're putting ozuza in your soup in your native soup please make sure to cut it in tiny pieces don't cut it big big just like how you cut water leaf and the rest of other vegetables make sure to cut your ozuza leaf tiny tiny oh yes this is our obonge fisherman soup in the making so sit down relax and enjoy grandma's obonge style of making fisherman soup <laughs> Ne <laughs> oh yeah oh, it is time to start putting all your rishi rishi inside the soup but mom is starting with the barracuda fish because this fish is quite hard so it has to cook so well inside for it to be soft so yeah this is mom just putting in the barracuda fish into this obonge sweet soup i know i've used the word obonge too much but there is no word to describe this soup can you see how it's doing ah this soup is correct correct when you hear that a soup's name is called fisherman soup you know that the fish in the soup has to be endless so yeah the fish has to be even more than the soup itself this is my mom just putting fish and fish and fish and fish non-stop i mean all the seafood condiment has to be present in this fisherman's soup <laughs> this is mom just putting more and more seafood into the soup this is snails so yeah this is her just putting in the snails into the soup <laughs> So this one is ungolo. This is mommy putting ungolo into the native soup. Ah, 
I'm so sorry I didn't show you guys the clip where mom was putting the crayfish and the nor magi and salt to taste as well but please put your seasoning cubes to taste and then this is her putting the isam as well this is the well seasoned prawns that she's putting in the soup you know that prawns don't take time to cook so she's putting this towards the end so yeah enjoy Wait, so we're already salivating. Look at my husband already making his pound of potato. And then on the other side, they are making ever for the rest of people at home. Look at Amba. Amba cannot wait. As in, eh? Amba cannot wait to dig into this soup. Everybody is hands on on the kitchen to just make their different swallows and just eat sharp, sharp. Look at my baby, he's so hungry, just sucking his lips and just waiting. He has screamed and cried in the kitchen. Where is my food? Oh, hurry up with my food. Oh, sharp, sharp. Oh. <laughs> Take the risk and join the millionaires. <laughs> 